everyone, I am Lala and this is Flavors of New York. Today we are in Elmhurst, Queens on Woodside Avenue, which has recently been renamed Little Thailand Way and we have the pleasure of dining at Spicy Shallot. So in honor of the new name of the street right in front of the restaurant, Spicy Shallot and Chef George Sadalot have created a new menu called Little Thailand Big Flavors. Basically, they're highlighting dishes from Chiang Mai, which is where the chef is from, in the north of Thailand, along with a take on a Thai sort of uh, sushi. So they're blending Thai street flavors and sushi. The first page starts with what the chef has recommended. We've got some whole branzino. Looks like it's topped with a Som Tom salad, so a papaya salad, always a good move. Second and third page are that, that new menu, that Little Thailand Big Flavors, where they're mixing Thai street food and sushi. And then they have some Nam Prik dishes. Nam Prik is basically a uh, chili sauce, a spicy Thai chili sauce. And you can get different accompaniments with that. Then we head into the appetizers, which all look very traditional. Your satays, uh, soups and salads. We head into some best sellers, duck and fish dishes. We've got noodles, we've got curries. I mean, you've got everything from your pad thai to your Penang curry, Thai fried rice, vegetarian section. All the things are here. What you might not expect on a Thai menu is a sushi section. Do you enjoy how they're kind of fusing Thai flavors into something that's very Japanese? Gotta have a little Thai iced tea when you're handling that spicy Thai food. A little sweetness, a little caffeine. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, here's the thing about this dish. Khao soy is a very well-known dish and it hails from specifically Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand. The thing about this is this is Chef George's take on a soft shell crab version of the dish. So it's, it's called khao soy, but this version is called khao soy poo. Khao soy is a noodle dish in a sort of curry broth. You've also got the texture of these crispy noodles, but one of the best parts is it always comes with a side of shallots that you want to place on top and then these pickled mustard greens. Ah, it's honestly my favorite part. You gotta finish it off with a little, a little squeeze of that lime. I've never had a cow soy with crab in it, so this is probably the happiest day of my life. I wanna get, oh, do you see those chilies as well? <laughs> so much crab meat. I'm not gonna look cute doing this, but when has that ever been a problem? The broth is so richly flavored, and it's got heat, people. It has heat. The crab is delicious, and now I'm just gonna break this up. I love the texture. And also go right for that soft shell. Using my hands, because that's how I like to do things. Oh my god. This is epic. This is truly epic. It really is so good and the heat. <sighs> He's taken a whole soft shell crab, which me being from Maryland speaks to my, my sensibilities, and placed it on top along with, a, which looks to be like a softball sized uh, amount of jumbo lump crab meat as well. Just the tuna lamb. <sighs> and these are the new pink. And this one is served with the Gel sauce, which is the sauce usually used for the barbecue in Thailand. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, so here's something really interesting. I love lob. It is such a Thai staple, and they've taken it and turned it into a hand roll. So we've got the cucumber and the avocado, the tuna tartare, but they've added that toasted rice powder. Lob is typically um, a chopped minced meat situation with toasted rice powder and some cucumber and, and red onions. And they've taken that and just put it into a delightful little hand roll. Yeah, you totally get the flavors of lob, but in a different, unexpected way. So this is the Mu Ping roll served with the Jiao sauce. The Jiao sauce is a, what would traditionally go on 
a grilled pork barbecue skewer. It's tamarind, it's fish sauce. They've taken the pork, that would be a street food dish, and they put it with some cucumber into this rice roll. I'm not sure what the best way to attempt this is, but I'm gonna pull this off. <laughs> I'm gonna use this sauce, and then I'm gonna shove it into my mouth. The pork has so much flavor, and that fish sauce, and that giao sauce is, is heaven. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit spicy, and that's the thing I love about Thai food. It hits so many parts of the palate. The salty, the bitter, the sweet, the spicy, the acidic. Oh, it's so, so good. All of it at one time. I love fish sauce. I really love what Spicy Shallot is doing, especially with the Northern Thai Chiang Mai dishes. They're so, so good. That little twist on them, and if you want to try something different, sort of that, uh, Thai sushi situation, then this is the place because I don't think I've really seen it anywhere else. Next time you're in Queens, or you know what, make the trip because it's that good. For Flavors of New York, I am Lala. Thank you for joining me.